Yo guys, hope you're all having a wonderful day. First, I'd like to announce that there won't be any streams for the next week. I'll be at TwitchCon till Monday, but don't worry, I'll be uploading a few videos for you guys all to enjoy. Next, on a few of the upcoming clips, I'll be giving short explanations and commentary on the plays that I'll be doing. I don't talk in many of my clips, so I think this would be a good way to spice up my videos. Do comment below to tell me if you do enjoy this. Much love guys, and enjoy the video. Going against the Shin is usually a tough time, and seeing as how I died already once this game, it's gonna be a rough start. But I TP back in with confidence. I put a box down as soon as I TP in, making sure to use it on cooldown. I take a few bad trades to bait him, making him think he has the upper hand on me, and I save away in the case that his taunt is back up. Then I go back to the box I previous placed, placing another, and then he fail taunts into me, falling into my box trap, getting me the kill. Here you see the Sivir getting a little bit too greedy. I'm low on health, but I have plenty of mana, unlike her. I tend to put boxes on the side lanes outside of the creep wave when pushing up like this. This allows for my boxes to survive as enemies are trying to walk into CS. She takes a good amount of damage from the box and I receive in ulting and securing the kill. Here, you see that I'm super low. This is where both I and my enemy tend to get greedy. I have a big box trap set up and Jarvin's at full HP. He's confident that he can kill me with this full combo, so I allow him to initiate on me. I ulti as he's EQing enemy, allowing for me to buffer his ulti, and I try to deceive away, but his ult walls catch me in, but I stay invisible, allowing for my boxes to do the work. This was a close call, especially when I could have dodged his ult damage by deceiving towards him rather than away from him.
Most ADC players will look to kite into bushes to gain a vision advantage. To counter this, I deceive in, dropping a box into the bush at the top of the lane. Then I continue to fight the Tristana. I ulti and allow for my clone to get a few hits on her as I wait for my protobelt to come back up. And as she ultis my clone, I know this is going to be a free kill. I initiate with protobelt, bursting her down to get me the kill. The box I placed didn't do much, but it's always good to plan ahead. Next, I'm going to be taking a fight with this lad. I initiate the fight taking good trade. He gets greedy wanting to trade back with me, but ends up just diving into my boxes. With a bit of help from my team, we snag a free kill. She's gonna go do this. While she's doing this, I'm gonna go to this. I'll play it. Here, the Garen and I are growing blow for blow. Box placement always changes depending on how the lane is going. Against a Garen, placing boxes and bushes is one of the easier ways to beat him, since his ultimate has so much burst damage. But I see that he's not level 5 yet, so I don't have to worry about that burst damage. As I'm getting low, I hide in the bush where I'm planting my boxes. He'll be leveling up soon, so I want to bait out his ult. I ulti in the bushes and act as if it's myself. I make him think I'm scared of him flashing and ulting on me, so I try to hide in the bush with my clone. He walks into my boxes, ulting the clone doesn't cancel his movement, walking into more boxes. I get my combo off on him, securing me the kill.
or this last clip, this is from a late game team fight. I see a Soraka alone, so I deceive in, wanting to get a free kill on her. Talia gets a great wall off, walling in Soraka and Rek'Sai, giving them nowhere to run. Izonia is looking to dodge the Echo Sun so he can't burst me and jump over the wall to dodge the Pantheon Ultimate. I find Tristana on the other side of the wall, so I look to fight her and delay her arrival to helping her team. This is the best way for Shaco to be useful in a team fight, taking one or two other players out of the team fight to deal with you while you, the rest of your team fights the enemy team. I'm able to clean up the last few low HP enemies, finishing off the game.